Hello everyone, this is Beastly Eel, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the teaser trailer that came out for Amazon Prime's The Boys, Season 3. So, in this trailer we get to see a bunch of things um, that kind of hint at what's going to happen in this season. So, one thing I noticed, and I'm pretty sure anybody who watched it noticed, there's going to be a lot more blood and guts everywhere. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the main focal point. Now, we'd heard this in, in uh, a couple of interviews done by the cast and other things, talking about this is their bloodiest, you know, season yet. And um, their trailer does not disappoint in showing a lot of just people blowing up. Now, the reason why they're blowing up is because the senator is making heads explode, quite literally. Um, what we see is we see the heroes basically not happy doing what they do. Um, but we're also seeing heroes, like, out in the open, like, causing harm, which I think is weird. Um, there was that one girl who did, like, an energy blast that shot a guy in the chest and he just exploded. Um, yeah, and then there's some guy with a shield just beating people up. Um, yeah, just odd. We have A-Train, who has a new outfit on, um, which definitely makes me wonder why. Um, potentially, it could be a whole new character change, since, you know, everything's about money. And, but um, <clears throat> they definitely seem to still be doing a lot of, like, publicity work and all that stuff, because we see them in front of cameras a bunch of times. Um, and Black Noir seems to be going to school... Um, which is weird to me. Uh, it doesn't make sense to me, really, to be honest with you. I, I, I'm having a difficult time with what that's supposed to be. I, I don't know if it's supposed to be just funny or if it's a main plot point, but that one just kind of threw me off. Like, all the others at least made sense. You know, heads exploding, people getting blown up, sex, and sex, and the lack of sex. Um, so all that's going on, and then we see the boss, Minus Huey, um, really realizing, or at least it looks like they're realizing, that they're going to be taking down the heroes, um, little by little. So they have the girl with them. Um, but the big piece that I hope everyone noticed was the fact that Butcher now is a soup. He's a soup. So he must have taken um, the wonderful juice that makes them super. Um, and for those of you who don't know, it's not that surprising, since in the comics they did take it, to basically go up against these superpowered beings. So it looks like, to me, he's got super strength um, and laser eyes. So we don't know the full extent of his powers, but we do know that he get has them. Um, at one point, he is communicating with Huey and snaps his arm. Um, we're not quite sure if it's him or if it's the um, Asian girl, but somebody breaks his arm clean in half, like bends it at a 90-degree angle, where it shouldn't be bent at a 90-degree angle. So there's definitely already conflict between them. So what do we get from this? Well... Um, oh, and then at the end of it, the teaser trailer, we see some guy come out of, like, hibernation, and for the life of me, I don't know if we're supposed to know who that is, um, whether that's supposed to be, uh, I don't know, um, not quite positive who that's supposed to be, so if, if it's obvious to other people, I apologize, I just don't know who that person is, um, <clears throat> but anyway, that being said, so what are we expecting out of season three? Well, one, a lot of blood, a lot of guts. Um, I imagine just a plethora of just blood and gore. But I also think there's going to be a huge conflict between citizens and soups. I also have a feeling that people are going to be against Vought, um, where they're going to have to do a lot of character control in the sense of they're really going to have to hold people accountable in the sense of, you know, they had a Nazi Nazi woman, Nazi racist woman, um, pretty much running Vought. 
or at least being part of the seven. So they're going to have to explain that and then also change their image around. Where officers should be expecting a lot of sex. Apparently the deep gets excited by octopus, which is hilarious to me. If you don't get it, think about it. Um, and there's sex in general in bathrooms with the writers and, and I think a super. I don't know who that other person is. Um, but definitely just in general, lots of sex. We also talked about like the conflict between everybody. We also see like changes in costumes. So we're definitely going to see some changes to the seven. So potentially not sure what's going on with that. We'll have a better idea once the season starts. We know A Train's back in the seven, but we don't know the full extent. Um, or, you know, what else is going on. We also know that the boys are back together in some sort of capacity. Um, we know that, you know, many of them are in the CIA with Maud. Mallory. I am sorry on that one. I don't know why I went Maud. Um, Mallory and... Um, Butcher is basically by himself for a little bit, I imagine, because he got the serum to make himself soup. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Overall, I'm very excited about this season. Um, it comes out in the beginning of June. Cannot wait. Can't wait for them to come out with other teaser trailers. But for now, that's all we know. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you excited about the trailer? Are you excited about the show? What are you most excited about for this series, uh, season? Um, other than that, I mean... You know, or if there was something I missed, like who that guy was, please let me know in the comments below. As always, if you like the content you see, please like and subscribe below. Other than that, this is going to be Beastly Eel signing out. Have a great day.